Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be making my infamous um, cream cheese spaghetti. <laughs> For those of you that have had my spaghetti before and you didn't know that there was cream cheese in it, um, you can get over yourself because you had three plates the last time I made it for the church fundraiser. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already chopped up some onions and garlic. Hold on, let me point down this camera. <sighs> I need a cameraman. He's in the living room watching TV, but I won't bother him. He's had a long day. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, so here's my saute pan. Um, my noodles have already been boiling. They're gonna go in this nine by 13 pan that I've already buttered. Oh Lord, uh, that I've already buttered. And um, usually I serve this, oh, I'm just gonna point the thing. <laughs> usually I serve this in a big serving bowl. Um, but today I think I wanna layer the cream cheese with um, the noodles and the sauce so you can kind of see all the layers and then you can see how wonderful it is when we dig in. So let me just get these noodles out real quick. And real quick, if you are not cooking your spaghetti noodles and chicken broth, what are you doing? Okay, that doesn't look like a whole lot of noodles for two people, but Again, it's just for two people, and I'm and I'm only doing half of my normal recipe uh, that I do. So noodles are in here. I've got, um, let's see, mm, about two tablespoons of butter that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stir the noodles in so they don't get real sticky. And then we'll get started on the sauce. You know what? I may want to make more noodles. So I love having this pot that has the strainer in it because if I decide that I want more, then I can just heat up some more water. So I'm going to turn this on high real quick. Get this pasta water going again. Pasta water is also really great to thin out your uh, sauces if they get too thick, especially if you don't have a whole lot of sauce. Um, I'm going to grab the noodles real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my pasta, and I just wanted to show you a little trick because I don't know if you've ever paid attention to the back of your um, pasta boxes, but there is a little guide right here. Hold on. Let me close this so they don't spill out. There's a guide right here and all you do, and if I've done this right, I've pulled many a pasta in my lifetime. Um, if I've done this right, usually, and I have small hands, usually if I can grab it a fistful with my thumb overlapping a finger, that's about for four. So if I've done this right, um, it'll match this. It'll match this bigger circle which says it serves four, and if my pasta matches that, and it does, get me, um, then that's supposedly for four servings, which is what this, um, I have to keep adjusting this camera, which is what this pan of pasta is supposed to serve but it just, it doesn't look like it's a lot. So I'm gonna add more. So my pasta water is heating and I'm gonna wait for that, which means I'll be adding the rest of this. So we're just gonna set these aside right here. Well, right here, cause we don't care. Okay, and now um, we're gonna chop up this bell pepper. And set my pasta aside. Okay, and my water's already going. My chicken stock flavored water. So I'm gonna drop in my pasta. I know you wanna see this. Just drop it in. I'm gonna swirl it around and it'll start cooking. So I like my pasta al dente. Al dente, I never know how to pronounce it. Um, which means I just like it to have a little bite. I hate really mushy pasta. 
I think that's why a lot of people are opposed to Italian, because mushy pasta is a texture thing for a lot of people. So this box says to cook it for 10 to 11 minutes. So I'm going to cook it for nine, and, and I'm going to set my timer just to make sure. Okay. So while that's going, so again, I'm going to throw my hair up real quick and then wash my hands because I touched my hair. And then we'll come back and we'll chop up these. Okay, so, so for my original recipe, I usually just use either two really small bell peppers like this or one big one, um, but we're only doing a half recipe today, so I'm just going to do one small one. It's already been cleaned. Just going to show you, and you just chop up your vegetables however, um, however big or small you like them. Uh, typically, I have served this for very picky people who have loved this spaghetti and had no clue that all these veggies were in it because I pureed them. <laughs> and if that's you, if I've ever served you that this uh, spaghetti and you didn't know, well, now you know. And you still loved it. Someone asked me to make this spaghetti for them without all the veggies one time. And I did, and I knew exactly what would happen. So when I served it to them, they said, it's not as good as your regular. And I said, well, that's because the veggies in it created a really nice base. So next time, they didn't say anything when I pureed the veggies for them. <laughs> they learned that day. And I'm just gonna toss them in my deep, non-stick skillet pan. I don't chop all professional. Y'all know this. Just your average little little chef. Little amateur chef with very amateur knife skills. <laughs> I get the job done. The food still tastes wonderful. I am forever ruined with jarred or canned or pre-made uh, spaghetti sauce. Now I've made it before where I you know, cook down real tomatoes and stuff like that, but we're going to use a can of uh, peeled tomatoes and a little bit of tomato sauce as our sauce. So if you have a regular tomato based sauce, just use that. I've grown up um, with a mom who used Hunt's tomato sauce as her sauce base, and there's really nothing else that compares. So, okay, those are chopped how I like them. Okay, so, got our base flavors there. Now, in my house, we love mushrooms. We love them. They've got a nice, meaty uh, 
texture to them. And if you get the pre-sliced mushrooms, typically they're pre-washed. Check and make sure that they're pre-washed. Um, but I do not rinse my mushrooms because mushrooms are very porous and they soak up water. So they tend to be very, um, what's the word, squishy. <laughs> like my friend says, she hates mushrooms because she says that they, they, they feel like chewing earlobes. So, and I think it's because whoever had mushrooms before rinse them and they just create so much slime. So if you've, if you've got sliced mushrooms and they're pre-washed, just go ahead. Yes, they will have a little dirt on them, but I mean, it's a mushroom. A little dirt never hurt. Some of y'all grew up eating mud pies and you're still alive. So I'm just going to, as I feel, I'm just going to dump as many mushrooms as I want in here. And all these veggies are going to cook down with our meat that we're using. So in the original recipe, I usually use the whole container of mushrooms. Um, tonight, I'm just going to do half or, you know, probably just the first layer. Almost done, then we'll get to the meat. About two more. Okay, that's good. So we're going to set our veggies aside and we're going to move on over to move this pan over right here. I'm going to move this pasta real quick. Um, so let me show you our seasonings real quick for tonight. I'm using olive oil salt, Italian seasoning, uh, red pepper flakes only because um, Walmart did not have the hot uh, ground Italian sausage. Um, I'll use this whole thing just because I like, a, I like a very hearty sauce. I would use half of it since I'm doing half um, of the recipe, but I, I think this will be just fine. Um, and then rosemary. There's no measuring with my seasonings. I just season as I go. So, I'm going to get these veggies started. About two, two teaspoons twice around the pan of olive oil. Turn this up to medium high. I'm going to squish those veggies around to get them coated. Just a little bit of olive oil because the sausage is going to have its own uh, grease that it's going to create. And also, this meat grinder, let me make it focus, is going to be a world changer, a life changer, whatever. Just go in and just kind of crush these a little bit more. Then I'm going to salt them. Sausage on its own has a little bit of sodium. I'm going to salt every layer. Okay, that's it for my salt. I'm going to get a new uh, salt container. Ooh, and my pasta is done. Okay. Some of them, a few of them, just kind of stuck to the sides, but that's okay. I'm going to stop around here. And that 
is going to be perfect. That is a perfect amount. Okay, we're going to turn this off. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the rest of this butter, another two tablespoons. So I'd say about two tablespoons per, you know, four servings of pasta. Okay, just kind of swish them around. Now, while I'm thinking about it, while this pasta is nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and flavor them. Let me get my new salt out. Ooh. Okay. I got the fancy kosher salt. <laughs> Um, oh, this is new, clearly. Okay. Like I said, I'm very aggressive with seasoning, so you, you do you, I'll do me. Ah. See what I mean? That should be enough to cover all of it. You want to flavor every layer. And you want to salt everything that doesn't naturally have salt in it. But not too much. It's, it's much better to have something not salty enough than too salty. There's, there's really no going back from that. Okay, and then look at this rosemary. I love rosemary. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. But it's not going to taste like mine. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside so that you can focus on my spaghetti here. Again, I'm going to use this whole thing. Good grief, it doesn't want to come out. Okay. Come on. Make sure you don't get that guy in there. Alright. I'm going to throw this trash away, wash my hands, and I'll be right back. So now we're just going to crumble this sausage up so it can evenly cook. I'm trying to get y'all closer. pounder thing is. Alright, I'm impatient. Let's go to high.
Okay. So we're gonna go in with our Italian seasoning. Ugh. Our rosemary. And our pepper flakes. I love it when that rosemary hits the heat. It's good to get your uh, dried seasonings toasted or, or wet or whatever to kind of draw out that flavor that's been locked up in there. Things you learn from watching Food Network. <laughs> Oh, that smells divine. Okay. I don't know why I don't use this guy. Alright, so down to medium high. So I have a little bit of this um, sauce remaining from earlier, a few days ago. So I'm just going to pour this in there. Uh, this is a 33 ounce box. And I've got uh, just a little over half left. So I'm going to pour that in here. And waste not, want not, my mom did the same thing. I'm just going to fill this with a little bit of water, probably halfway, swish it around to get the remaining tomato sauce out, and pour it in. I didn't even, I didn't even really fill it halfway, but... And I had a can of whole tomatoes just in case I needed it, but I don't think I'll need it. I don't like a very saucy sauce. Okay, that's just about perfect. So, see, in the original uh, recipe, I would use just the whole box, so I had enough for half. And this sauce is going to thicken up anyway because I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese to it. And since it already naturally has uh, salt, we're going to add some more uh, seasoning. I'm going to go pretty light with the Italian this time. Oh. I feel like I'm going to keep contradicting myself because it, it's just not, it's not coming out fast enough. Tell me y'all don't do this either. Rosemary. And 
and red pepper. Just a little. Okay, see, that was very quick. And all I'm gonna do is add, now this bag was one and a fourth cups. I usually do, uh, yeah, I think I usually do two cups. But anyway, there's not a whole lot left, so I'm just gonna pour the rest of that in here. And I'm gonna turn this down to low and just kinda stir this around. Now this is also where I would add the uh, cream cheese. I like to use whipped cream cheese because it spreads better, it's more better. But if you just have a regular block of cheese, just make sure you've set it out um, so that it gets to room temperature so that it can spread easier. And like I said, this is a an eight ounce. I'll usually put, I'll usually use an, a whole eight ounce for the original uh, recipe. But so I should be using only half of this, but I really like it. So I'm gonna use the whole thing. And if you judge me, I don't care. <laughs> um, so this time I'm gonna spread it around. Oh, you can't see. I'm gonna spread it around these noodles. If if it'll let me. Because I want to create a nice little layer of it. Yeah, I think I think four ounces would have been not enough to spread. You feel me? And look, I'm like Paula Dean with cream cheese. I'll put cream cheese in just about any and everything. She likes butter. I like cream cheese. It's so versatile. You can put it in savory uh, dishes. You can use it for sweet desserts or whatever it's just it's wonderful this will be served in heaven it it will mark my words okay so we're just going to spread this around doesn't have to be perfect just enough to create a cool little layer so what i normally do with like block cheese is i'll just Put different like plops of it everywhere which I should have done with this one but we're going with it oh whatever let's just mix it in <laughs> forget about the layers throw everything I said out the window just mix it in because it's not cooperating and I set this out in enough time to get room temperature it's not wanting to work with me that's okay we're gonna make it work now Sucker. Oh man, I, I wish I wish you could just reach through the screen and smell this. That butter with the with these herbs and this cream cheese. Like what's not to love? Seriously. I don't understand people that don't like spaghetti. Especially my spaghetti. I'm sure that's how everyone feels about their meals or their recipes, right? I mean, because you've never seen multiple titles of the best ever. The best ever brownie mix. The best ever. I mean, I just feel, I really feel like this is the best ever spaghetti. So it's okay if your noodles get cold. The uh, warm pasta sauce is going to reheat everybody up. Okay, I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need some backup here. This is not spreading out. And y'all know me, I don't like to dirty another spoon, so I'm just gonna use, just gonna use what I have. And we're gonna be okay with it.
Oh my word, it's so good. Okay, all right. I mean, do you see what's happening here? Do you see the magic? Let's just, let's just get you up close and personal with this buttery, garlicky. Ooh, that's what I need to add to this. Walmart was out of regular butter, so we're gonna have to use this roasted butter that I got in the Mexican aisle. Hopefully it goes well. Oh yeah, that smells fantastic. Just gonna pour a little, <laughs> a little. <laughs> My definition of little is going to be different than yours. Okay, spread that around too. Good grief. And I think when you serve it this way with like the layered, you know, cream cheese and the noodles, I think they call this million dollar spaghetti. I thought I had created this recipe. I thought I'd made it up, but apparently not. But most people don't put their cream cheese in their pasta sauce, so I still like to think I made this up. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just trying to get these noodles even. Okay. We cannot waste any of that cream cheese. Okay. Throwing my trash away. Putting my dirty dishes up. As I clean as I go. And then we're gonna pour this. Look at how thick that got. That was the perfect amount of sauce. And since we're using a non-stick skillet or saucepan, this Parmesan is not sticking to nothing. Okay, I think it would be better actually if we move this over here, this operation. If you like your spaghetti sauce to be more more saucy, more better, you can add more sauce. But I like a really hearty sauce. So we're going to spread this around. You can bake this if you want, if you want to top it with mozzarella. Um, that's fine. I don't. Um, like I said, I usually serve this in a big, um, pasta bowl anyway. Um, but the extremely hot sauce is already re-warming up the noodles underneath. And once you scoop it out and put it on a plate, it's going to be, it's going to be perfect. The perfect temperature. Okay, so I feel like it needs a little white layer on top, so. I'm going to give in, because I like presentation. I'm just gonna do a little bit. This already has enough cheese as it is. Mm, this was probably a fourth of a cup. Give or take. Okay. And y'all know how I feel about parsley. 
What's going on? Okay. Now it doesn't look like the most amazing. Again, you can put this in the oven and let that um, melt on top. You know what? I should. I'm going to put it on broil. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um, don't worry, it's cool enough now that I can hold it. So you can see that it's brown just a little bit. I just wanted that cheese to melt just slightly. I'm going to dip this out so you can see how it serves. Uh-oh. I lost a green bell pepper. I don't think the camera's going to catch this cream cheese business going on. You'll see your sauce turn um, a pink color because of the cream cheese. So folks in Texas called it pink spaghetti. <laughs> All right, this isn't the most beautiful plating, um, but I want to... I don't know if you can see how pink it is. Well, either way. Hold on. Let me move it where you can see me now. I know you're just dying to see me eat this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's too far. We're just going to have to deal with it. That's why I like my sauce to be a little heartier. I don't like a whole lot of um, liquid swishing around, especially for this kind of meal. So, and I didn't break my spaghetti noodles up, so they're quite long. They're so good. I'm a genius, guys. It's so good. It does not look appetizing at all. It looks so plain. But it doesn't taste plain at all. All that rosemary, all those really earthy mushrooms, just the textures. Oh, you gotta give this a try. If your kids don't like veggies, puree the veggies. They'll never know. And they'll think you're a genius too. <laughs> Give it a shot, guys. See you next time.